Minister, what's the reason why you're here at the European Parliament? Do you want to use your charm to get Turkey into the European Union? <laughs> Not today, immediately, of course, but I'm here to uh, participate in uh, iftar dinner. Uh, are, now we are enjoying the whole Ramadan. And this iftar dinner is hosted by uh, ECR uh, group in the European Parliament. That's a very late dinner. And, and yeah, it's around 9.30 and my party, Justice and Development Party. And uh, we are going to participate in it. And right after the iftar dinner, I will uh, return to Turkey. And uh, this time, I will be meeting uh, the leaders of some uh, parties as well, particularly the ones in the ECR. I will take the advantage of that. And I met the Venice Commission, president of the Venice Commission. From uh, the uh, Council of Europe. Council of Europe. Mm -hmm. No, no, we, but we why did you saw him? Is there anything wrong we in Turkey? Would, no, no, we would like to strengthen <laughs> our cooperation with okay. the British Commission. But how are the aspects of uh, Turkey entering the European Union? Do you still want? We, we still have the same determination and the political will. That's why Prime Minister Erdogan declared 2014 as the uh, year of uh, European Union in Turkey. And despite the fact that we are uh, holding elections, we held the local elections recently in March, and we are going to have the presidential election. And we, even parliamentary we, election yeah, next, and year. next year. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, we actually have been doing our best to continue the reform process in Turkey. We adopted the fifth and the sixth judicial reform package and the democratization package announced by Prime Minister last year. Uh, end of last year, and uh, the action plan on preventing, preventing the violations of the European Convention on Human Rights. These are the very important steps, and now we are uh, working on uh, the new reform packages. But Minister, and, it's and no some other yeah. steps also, okay. institutional steps mm -hmm. in Turkey, and we are working the, uh, on the action plan for this year, the rest of the year, also for the term of 2014 and 17 uh, to continue this reform process. process. So we, we have the, uh, the will, still there. will, strong will there. Mm -hmm. And because we believe that EU membership is the biggest uh, foreign policy project of Turkey and, and the biggest uh, civilization project after the foundation of the Republic of Turkey. I am in no doubt about your engagement, but you know as well as we know here that there is one member country of the European Union which is trying to block your access, which is Cyprus. How do you foresee uh, to overcome that obstacle? And yes, it is true. This is the main political obstacle in front of us, which is not fair, actually. And the uh, whole Europe, if and EU countries and institutions, if they are not uh, hiding behind this uh, small country, small member of the European Union, uh, shouldn't actually let one small uh, member to block whole process. This is not fair. But it's not the question of small or big, uh, but yeah, it's, a it is, it's a it's country. It's a member country. But yeah. it is not fair that one country, or small, or, no matter small or big, is blocking the whole process. And this is not fair, actually. And, but this is the, the, uh, on the table as a de, de facto situation. But, but now we are uh, so keen to open the chapters blocked by uh, Greek Cypriots. Chapter 23, chapter 24. And you think they will be opened? Uh, it, I hope so. And yes. this is what actually uh, EU institutions and the major EU leaders are also in favor. But they are pressing you for some kind of agreement on Northern uh, Cyprus. It's 40 years ago that the solution, in my opinion, solution to the problem well, came. Well, instead, we are actually uh, pressing uh, both sides for a solution, for a lasting and uh, solution in the island. Led by Fair, the UN? Uh, led by UN. Mm -hmm. And Turkey is supporting this process uh, more than anybody, more than European Union, more than uh, Greece, more than any other countries. And we are grateful that UN is also so much encouraging. And now we are so much in favor of this uh, solution, everlasting solution, fair solution, on the basis of the joint declaration by the two leaders. And this, therefore, 
uh, Turkey should also support it. And in 2004, during the Anand plan, and we also uh, dare to support this Anand plan. And that it was time, accepted Turkish society, on the yeah, it was, right, that yes. Neither mm -hmm. Turkish society or uh, mm -hmm. Turks in the northern side were very much ready for, to support this plan, but my government took the risk to support this uh, plan as well. And now we have the same, again, uh, the determination and the will, and we, are, we have been always one step ahead of everybody for this. Therefore, this will uh, and this support should be also appreciated. Minister.